everybody, welcome to Healthy Habits with Coach Jessica. And I'm Dr. Joe. And here at Health Habits, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about different habits that you can add that are gonna expand your life. So today we wanted to talk about nutrition, and I'm gonna turn it over to Coach Jessica about why, why do we wanna eat certain foods and why it's important and a different way to look at what you're putting in your body. Yeah, so I'm super excited because March actually is National Nutrition Month. And a lot of my clients will come to me and because they, they want to change their life. And I talk more about why are we going to change it. So we're going to change it because we love ourselves, not because we hate ourselves. Yeah, totally. And choosing quality food, um, I always tell my clients, you're not fast and cheap, so your food shouldn't be right. there, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Um, so why we're going to do it is because we want to live a long, healthy life, correct? Definitely, 100%. Yeah. I love what you said earlier when we were talking, prepping for this, and you said that you know a lot of people work out because they start off with the idea that they hate themselves or they hate yeah, their absolutely, body. Absolutely. So touch on that for a second. Like, what do you mean by that? Like, and 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 what's the switch on it? Like, if I hate my body versus I'm working out because I what? Because you love yourself. Yeah. So you do it. You know, so many people will come into my gym. And because they want to start working out because they hate the way they look, they they hate the way their legs are are touching when they yes. when they walk, yeah. or they have the you know the standard like the we call it the high betty at yes. the gym yes. where you <laughs> wave high betty and this keeps waving afterwards. Um, so I try to do the mind switch and having them think more on lines with, I'm gonna exercise because I love the way it makes me feel. Mm. Because it's mm. gonna give me energy for the rest of my life. Yeah. Um, and your food is the same way. You know, think of it as, you know, I'm gonna choose healthy food because it makes me feel good and I have a lot of energy. I'm not gonna choose healthy food because I hate the way I look and, uh, you know, it's it's just a complete mindset yeah, change. Yeah, totally, for well, as far as what motivates me. Right. So I'm not gonna be motivated out of hate, I'm gonna be motivated out of I what love. I love, right? I love. And that right. same in that same line, one of the things I work with as a chiropractor is, as we always talk about, and you know this as a as a health coach, you know, you're always talking to people about what they put in their body. I think about what you put in your body as fuel and as building material. So number mm -hmm. one, when I eat, I have to go to the gas station, right? Because I got to put good fuel. Mm -hmm. And you and I were talking about fuel sources. Right, right, right. You have some great information on that on your site that you want to talk yeah. about. Yeah. And the other aspect is when you eat, you're, whatever you put in your body, you're actually making a new body from. So the question is, what building materials are you putting in your body? So I was thinking about it. you're going to the gas station when you eat mm -hmm. and you're going to the hardware store. So are you getting materials from Mr. Seconds? You follow me? Or are you getting some really good quality food? So in other words, it's tough for me to make a liver cell from Coca-Cola, right? Right, right? But it's a lot easier for me to make a liver cell from like an apple or an orange or a banana or something green and leafy. So one of the things we're always talking about and that we're excited about is, is elevating your body, expanding your health, is putting better food in you for those reasons and, and certainly why you need to do it. And I, I really love how you gave the analogy of like the gasoline and the hardware because um, I always tell my clients, your your body is is like a machine. You're yes. not you're not going to put milk in your gas tank for your exactly, car and expect exactly it to right. run. Exactly so you right. don't want to put junk into your body and then expect it to run optimally. Exactly so I love right. the analogy that yeah. you gave with that. Yeah. So we were going to go into action of the week. So we gave you just a little bit of the why and a little bit of information on choosing better materials to put in your body. And we want to kind of close this with, hey, what is the action that you're going to take for the week? So Yeah, so I would love to hear what you guys are going to do. So comment below on the one thing that you do this week that's going to change your life dramatically throughout. So yeah. just one change. That's all we're asking is one change a day or even just one change a week. What are you going to focus on that's going to give you that the life that you love and you deserve to have? Absolutely. And then what we want to do is we want to hear from you guys. So we want you to comment below. Let us know what changes you're making, what things that you've added, what changes that you want to make in your overall health. Uh, number one. Number two, we'd love for you to tag. So if you find this to be valuable for you, we'd love yeah, to tag absolutely. a friend or family member and share that information because it's not just about a small group of people, we want to create a healthier yeah, community, right? Absolutely, I love it, yeah. yes. So this has been Dr. Joe Borio. And Coach Jessica Visco. With Healthy Habits. Talk to you guys next week.